Hello and welcome back to Road Trippia, the trivia quiz game that's easy to play in your car with your friends or by yourself. I read the questions, you answer the questions. Keep score if you want. There's a tiebreaker question at the end of the episode if you need to stick around for that. Today's game comes from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Rick Oskin has sent in 21 random knowledge trivia questions for us. So let's get started, have fun, and good luck on today's quiz. Question number one. World War II began in Europe on August 23, 1939, when the then Soviet Union and Nazi Germany signed a pact that created a partnership between them. What was the main reason the Soviets gave for switching sides and entering into an alliance with the United States in 1941? Germany broke the pack and invaded the Soviet Union. Question number two. Germany is a federation of constituent states, which are collectively referred to as Lander, each with its own constitution. Since the country's reunification in 1990, the Federal Republic of Germany has how many federal states? The answer is 16. Question number three. This archipelago is mostly known for its historic sites related to a succession of rulers, including Romans, Moors, the Knights of St. John, the French, and many others. Once a part of France and Spain, this republic gained its independence in 1964. What is this European country in the Mediterranean Sea? The answer is Malta. Question number four. Hill Street Blues was an American TV show airing in the 1980s on NBC. It was a gritty portrayal of a real-life look at police in a large city, shown from the perspective of everyone from the criminal to the judge. What was the name of the one-season show that was a spin-off of Hill Street Blues? That show was called Beverly Hills Bunts. Question number five. The lead character of the spinoff was one of the detectives from Hill Street with quite a colorful career. One of his antics involved releasing a robotic alligator into a sewer line being searched by police. Who was the actor who starred as Norman, the Beverly Hills Bunts? The answer is Dennis Franz. Question number six. Many actors from Hill Street Blues were graduates of a very prestigious university in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. There were a lot of fine actors produced there like Jack Klugman, Ted Danson, and Mariette Hartley to name a few. What is the name of this university? The answer is Carnegie Mellon. Question number seven. After attempting a career in politics, he found success as a writer, selling over 75 million books. As a veteran, he also wrote screenplays like Bridges at Toko Ri and Sayonara. His book Centennial became a hit 12-part miniseries and his Hawaii was adapted to film. Who was this American author? The answer is James Michener. Question number eight. His first roles in the 1960s were on British TV and movies. He was featured alongside Christopher Lee in horror films such as Castles of the Living Dead and Dr. Terror's House of Horror. He went on to feature films like The Dirty Dozen and M.A.S.H. Who is this patriarch of a popular acting family?
The answer, Donald Sutherland. Question number nine. MASH was made into a TV show in 1972 and had an ensemble cast. There was the company clerk, Radar. There was Klinger, wearing a dress, and even ferret face Frank Burns. One of the beloved characters was Colonel Henry Blake, who was killed in the show when his plane was shot down over what sea? The answer is the Sea of Japan. Question number 10. For young women in the U.S., a sweet 16 is usually a big birthday party and is often celebrated with a dance, gift exchanges, the shoe ceremony, or the lighting of 16 candles. A quinceanera is a Latin celebration much like the sweet 16 with one big difference. What is it? The Sweet 16 is for your 16th birthday, but a quinceanera is for your 15th birthday. Question number 11. Set in northern Italy in the early 20th century, this film follows two childhood friends that, despite their class differences, forged a relationship and grew up as close companions only to drift apart as adults. 1900 was a five-hour-long movie released in November of 1977. Can you name the director? That movie was directed by Bernardo Bartolucci. Question number 12, 1900, the movie starred Robert De Niro and showed the lives of people in a country liberated from fascism in 1945. What popular film critic said of the film, it doesn't seem to go anywhere. It's an epic only by virtue of its length. Whew. Harsh. I mean, how many popular film critics are there? I don't know, but the answer is Roger Ebert from Siskel and Ebert, if you remember those guys. Question number 13. Delilah's betrayal of Samson is well known. He was raised as a Nazarite, but did not adhere to their principles. He was known for his great physical strength and great moral weakness. What group of people paid Delilah 1,100 silver coins to betray her husband causing him to lose his strength. Delilah was paid 1,100 silver coins by the Philistines. Question number 14. The mouth of this South American river was discovered by Christopher Columbus in 1498. There is a crocodile named after the river that can eat a shark and it's one of the rarest crocodiles in the world. The name of what river translates to a place to paddle? Well, it doesn't sound like a very friendly place to paddle, but Rick, who wrote this quiz, has actually been swimming in the Orinoco River. The answer is the Orinoco River. Question number 15. One of Rick's favorite board games was a game that simulates a person's travels from early adulthood to retirement, with college, if necessary, jobs, marriage, and possible children along the way. Spin the wheel and drive your car around the game board of which popular board game? That would be the game of life, or just life. Question number 16. In 1992, there was a proposal made to the standardization of geographical names by the Republic of Korea and the DRK to rename the Sea of Japan. What was the name they were seeking to change it to that was already used locally by both of these two countries due to previous strife with the country of Japan? They would like the name changed to the East Sea. Question number 17. The Sea of Japan contains more than 900 species of crustaceans, about a thousand species of fish, and 26 of mammals. As a fishery, there have been many territorial clashes between the four countries it is bounded by. 
the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, the Republic of Korea, Japan, and what's the fourth? The DRK, the Republic of Korea, Japan, and Russia. Russia is the fourth one. Question number 18. We know that the 18th president of the USA is Ulysses S. Grant, but at birth, he was given a different first name in honor of his father's father-in-law. Ulysses was always his middle name, but what was Grant's actual first name? At birth, he was given the name Hiram Ulysses Grant. Hiram was his first name. Question number 19. Edgar Allan Poe was a resident and is still buried in the downtown area with many other places dedicated to the writer. If you go out to eat, I suggest the crab cakes. They are a specialty in which U.S. city where there is a legal graffiti spot, one of the few legal places in the U.S. where you can leave your mark. That would be the city of Baltimore, Maryland. That's where Edgar Allan Poe is from. And question 20. If you have one match and you find yourself in a blackout, what do you light first? The large gas stove that would provide heat and the ability to cook, the full kerosene lamp in the corner that would provide ample light, or the wood-burning fireplace that would provide heat and light? There is one correct answer. What is it? What makes the most sense? If you had one match and you had to light one thing, you would light the match first. Ending today on, I don't know if that's a trivia question or more like a, a brain teaser. Maybe that's a brain teaser. Either way, Rick, thank you for sending in 21 great questions. Rick and Jude have sent in two quizzes together as a team, and then they sent in quizzes individually. So they are now responsible for four of the quizzes of the Quizlet Challenge. We've already played three of them. This was the fourth. Excellent job. Thank you very much. And thank you everybody for watching today's trivia quiz. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already and prepare yourself because here comes Rick's question 21 tiebreaker. On September 14th, 2018, the cake with the greatest number of layers ever made was made by the Watkins Company in Winona, Minnesota. Using 900 eggs and 480 pounds of sugar, it took 10 bakers 145 man hours to build this record-breaking cake that had how many layers? How many layers is the most layers ever slapped on a single cake? I saw a picture of this cake. Those layers were awfully skinny, but the record still counts. There were 260 layers on that single cake. So whichever player got closest to 260 layers on a single cake wins the point. And if it was a tie, they just won the whole game. Congratulations. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow.